Mike Stoffel. Yo, my people, them. CFC, Willis Blue, back with another video. And this is the player ratings video for the Chelsea versus Man City match in the Premier League yesterday, which ended 4 4. I will be giving ratings to every player who participated, whether they started or came off the bench, as well as our manager, Maurizio Pochettino. So you guys stay tuned for each player. And let me know in the comments section who is your man of the match for this game. But it was such a lit game. This was the best game in the Premier League by far this season. Two teams going at it head to head, back and forth. This game was electric, fam. And apart from a couple of red cards or more goals, they had everything. So this was an excellent match. And now I'm going to can't wait to give the ratings to each player. And we're going to have to start off with Robert Sanchez. But before we do that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new choice of videos from me. But yeah, Robert Sanchez, man. I don't know. I'm going to have to give him a seven because he made a lot of saves. Fair enough, a couple were at him, but the one strike from Haaland and his other and other key parts in as well, because without him, we wouldn't be able to build up. I feel like his um his um distribution was very good, especially how quick he let on he released the ball to last counter attack because our front movement was so so good and the best I've seen so far this season in the Premier League. So this is very good. Sanchez is a seven. Pick him up for the performance. Now we're going to move on to our right back and our captain, Reese James. And he only played 64 minutes. 64 minutes, as you can see, he made a lot of tackles. He got an assist. And on top of that, he had man like Doku in his pocket. In his pocket. On no cap. No cap. Doku wasn't on niche. In the previous game for Man City, he got five goal involvements. In that game, Nish, he dived as well. From when he was diving, you know that Reese had to, man had to, my man had to just go to diving and feel like, oh yeah, see if I can get a pen. No, Reese had him in his pocket. And Reese, big up for your performance. Ever since you come back, you've just been getting better and better. And you still haven't completed a full 90 minutes, but the best is yet to come. We are still easing him, easing him into the team. And once he does complete full 90 consecutively, we're going to see us get even better. Because since he's coming to the team, we have looked a lot better, especially going forward with his great balls as well. So, Reese James, my rating for you. I'm going to give you a 7.5. Big you up, Captain. Now we're going to move on to the centre-backs and start off with Axel de Sassi, who I felt had a very good game. Sure, it's a game where we concede four goals. The performance, being dominant in the air, winning your jewels. I can't really ask for more other than a clean sheet spot. It's not even down to you. See, you're a great attacking team. So, to our, for us to concede four, and the way we did as well, a lucky pen, a deflected goal, realistically, it should have been less than that. But nonetheless, your performance was very, very good. Um, Axel de Sassi, I'm going to give you a seven. Big you up. And then we have O Tiago Silva. O Tiago Silva. My brother, man. Ages like fine wine, that guy, bro. Not only did he score and help us get back into the game, but like he was just so, so good with his positioning, his awareness. Like, I'll be real, man. This is a guy who's 39 years old. And for me, Easily one of the best centre backs in the Premier League. Like he became our Chelsea's oldest ever goal scorer with that goal as well at 39 years old. It's like Thiago Silva is so incredible. And to know that we have him at this team, it means everything because guys like him transform us. Without him in the defense, we wouldn't be the same. So my rating for Thiago Silva, I'm going to give him also a 7.5. Big you up for your performance, Thiago. And then left back, we have Mark Kukurea, who I felt had a decent game, a decent match. Um, my rating for him is going to be a seven because I feel like the defence did well. 
Um, but yeah, man, a seven for Kukurea still. Can't really, don't really know too much to say. You win a couple of draws and that, but other than that, just a calm game, very good game back and forth. So yeah, man, seven for Kukurea. Then CDMs, Enzo Fernandez. Hey, I'm gonna have to give him a 6.5, man. I feel like the midfield for Man C definitely ran the game throughout the majority of the match. But in the transitions, that's where we picked up and it was more of a front line. So in order to get getting the ball to um other players helps out. But I don't feel like Enzo had the top, top game compared to like other matches. But yeah, still a good game. 6.5 for Enzo Fernandez. Then we move on to Moises Caicedo. A man like Caicedo, you know. This guy is cold. Obviously, he had missed time tackles, gave away fouls and that. But in terms of like winning balls back and also like being the person who gave the ball to Conor Gallagher before he hits the shot, that allows us to even get um, the rebound where Nicholas Jackson scores. I feel like his little, the little things are what make him very important. And on that note, I'm going to give him um, a seven because I do feel like he had a good game. So, big you up, Moises Caicedo. Then we have left, mid, and Raheem Sterling. Man of the match for me. Man of the match. By far your best performance in a Chelsea shirt. And what a time to do it against your old team as well. You got a goal. So many dribble, success, successful dribbles. On top of that, you got to look at a man like Kyle Walker as well, like, that man there was left on the floor numerous times. I've never seen Kyle Walker get ragged this, as much as Raheem Sterling had him. Like, honestly, like, he was on smoke and he was definitely the best player in this match for us. So nine for Raheem Sterling. Big up for your performance, bro. And I really hope that you can continue to do this stuff because you have the ability to be a leader in this attack, to be, um, to be someone that can help us get top four. So... Please just keep on the good work, keep improving and keep getting better. Pick up for your performance. You are my man of the match. Nine for you. And then we have on the right hand side Cole Palmer, who had another, another good game. Ice in his veins. Taking that goal. Penalty. Last minute of the match. It's your old team. Just the way he did it like that. Hey man, standard procedure. No cap, Cole Palmer is so cold, and I'm so gassed to know that we have him because this is our revenge for Kevin De Bruyne. Honestly, this guy is going to be so great, and to already know that he scored against my C. Kevin De Bruyne loved to score against Chelsea, you know, when he came and played against us. Now, hopefully, it's the same thing for Cole Palmer. Palmer is a bad man, and big you up because now you've been called up to the England squad. So congratulations on getting your first England call up to the men's team. Big you up first of many and my rating for Cole Palmer I'm going to give him a 8.5 I'm going to give him an 8.5 still big big performance big performance big you up my bro and then we have our cam Conor Gallagher and Conor Gallagher <laughs> Conor I'll be real to you the amount of stuff that you did whether it's playing CDM playing right back playing cam it's like you're everywhere and your work rate is immense, immense. It doesn't matter whether it's the first minute. It doesn't matter whether it's the 90th minute. You are going to keep on running. And man needs to applaud that because in a team, you're going to need hard workers, guys like Conor Gallagher. And at the start of the season, I wasn't really, I wasn't really bigging him up to be a starter. But now he has easily changed my mind. He has been, if not, the most influential player in this team, just down to how much he's available and what he does. Like yesterday, he even got an assist for Thiago Silva's goal. And then if it wasn't thanks to him taking that shot, Nicholas Jackson doesn't score either. So he has been influential in this win. A lot of tackles that this guy gets, dribble success, key passes. Like, big you up, Conor Gallagher, because you are proving a lot of Chelsea fans wrong. And I hope that you keep on doing it because you are showing why you are here. Chelsea graduate, Chelsea through and through. Big you up, my bro. I'm also going to give you an 8.5 because I actually do think you had a very, very good match. So big you up, my bro. 
Then we have our striker, Nicholas Jackson. And Jackson, I am going to give you a seven simply because um, obviously it wasn't too much going on in the match review. But when we needed you to do something, we needed you to score and you've done it. And you've done it. You didn't even have to be friendly throughout the whole match. But realistically, when your time came, you had to put the ball in the back of the net. You did that. That is what we need. When you're a striker, you don't need to be having 20, 30 touches. Harlan doesn't. Yet this guy will always get to us about the best striker. You need to score goals. And like I said after the Tottenham match, I hope that this game makes you score more goals in the future because that's what you need. Now you have four goals in the last two games. Bam. You're doing your thing. And just hope that you continue to improve. Keep on keep on doing your thing. Keep working hard, my bro. My rating for you is a seven. Give you up. And that is the starting eleven. So now it's time for the subs. Let's start off with Malo Gusto. And Gusto, man, why? Your performance was good. Obviously, there was a chance where you could have scored and really should have scored. But it is what it is, fam. You haven't scored a goal in senior football. Left foot as well, like you're not left footed. It's like, man, just wasn't meant to be. But it is what it is. You had a decent performance. So I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you a 5.5. Big you up. Now we're going to move on to Mikhailo Mudrik. A man like Mudrik, you know, with your introduction, not too long after we ended up scoring. So it wasn't necessarily come from you, but the build up play came from you and then went to the side, went into the middle, and we ended up scoring eventually. So I feel like you had a decent game, better than what you're better than the Tottenham match. And so for that, my rating for you is going to be a 5.5 also. But then we have Armando Broya, my brother Broya. Brother, big you up because you came on and you helped us get a penalty. Be in the right place, right time, helping us get that pen, which inevitably helps us equalize the game. That is great, man. That is great. And your first appearance since coming back from injury as well. What a time. And what a contribution you made, bro. So happy. And um, I really hope that, yeah, man, you can be more influential and help us get more results in the future. But yeah, my rating for you, I'm going to give you a 6.5. And then we have Leslie Ugochuku and calm performance from you. By the time you came on, it was already 4-4, not too long with Nainan. So I'm just going to give you a 5, my bro. And that concludes our substitutes. Now it's time for our manager, Maurizio Pochettino and Poch. Bram, I'm giving him a ten. I agree with you. The game plan executed to the T. You had the team playing the way you wanted them to. This is how he was playing in preseason, the way he would counterattack so vigorously and so fast. Like it was. Like we're getting in behind. We are not letting City breathe. We ran them ragged. And it was down to your system. It was down to you. You put the players in place to make them do what they were meant to do. And even your substitutions, think about it. My bro bring on Malo Gusto and Mudrik. Not too long after that, he scored. He brought on um, Armando Brojo. He won us a penalty. Like, and we equalized. Like, the team, the spirit, even after the game, going to Anthony Taylor, mourning to him because he knew you know, that was a soft penalty and we could have won this game. Like, you have transformed us already. In the big games, we know that we're very good. We know it. And now we've been able to go 4-4 four to four with Man C, go head-to-head. -head. Like, this is the best team in the world. And you've helped us go. But, like, not even just this game, Arsenal, Tottenham, Liverpool, like, all of the big games. Like, we have shown our character and it's down to you. So, my brain for you is a 10 out of 10. I can't ask for anything more other than a W, but for us to even get a draw, 4-4 four, four Man City, feels like a dub. So, big up Pochettino, big up the Mandem for all of their performance. No one was rubbish. Everyone played hard. So, big you all up. And, yeah, man, let's conclude the play ratings. If you got in this four, appreciate you guys. Thank you for your support. Hit the like button. 
hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new shows or videos from me. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook. The links will be in the description below. Hope you guys have a good Monday. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm CFC with this blue, and I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.